George. Hello, Hugh. I've brought Robert. Nice to see you. Conscious all the time. I never ever lost consciousness. You're bloody lucky. No, I mean the pilot disobeyed orders when he heard we had wounded. He'd been in the Scots Guards, a colour sound, got the DFC. Light helicopters are very vulnerable. I'm sure we lost a lot of helicopters to small arms fire. Extremely lucky. Would you like some more shepherd's pie? I'd love some. Starving. The way he drives terrifies me. That's another story, driving. It's a marvellous car, Robert. What is it? Panther. It isn't a car. It's a statement. It is, really. It's a damn good car as well. I wouldn't mind if you didn't smack me in the chops with your left arm every time I'm forced to break. That's called clearness. Only happens when I'm scared. You have to be ready to duck. Oh! Let's go tell the kids! Help! Who goes there? The keys! Please! Keys! Queen Elizabeth's keys! Pass! Queen Elizabeth's keys! All's well! Escort to the keys by the center, quick! March! Left wheel! Escort to the keys! Halt! Guard and escort! Present! Arms! The bands of the Royal Marines and the Parachute Regiment played their regimental marches. At eight o'clock, the last mooring rope was cast off and Canberra was ready to sail. The liner's crew, civilians who volunteered to sail with her, threw down streamers while the families of those who'll fight, if fighting becomes necessary, waved a patriotic farewell. Sailing with Canberra and reporting to both the BBC and ITV is Jeremy Ham. He saw the final preparations on board. And up to the moment of departure, stores were still being taken toward the Canberra. Sail 
boat from Southampton after several Cheers, Mr. Longstaff. Cheers, Mr. Longstaff. Was Sophie there, Danny? Yeah, she was. She thought she wouldn't come up. What was it like tonight, or something? No bad, sir. Oh, it's bad. It's very, very bad. Well, it's not bad. It's brilliant. <laughs> I know it's coming, but when the sentry challenges in Broad Scott's Halt, who goes there, I always jump out of my skin. <laughs> that was prothero tonight. He's not a Scot. He just puts on the voice for public duties. It's already completed. Morale aboard is incredibly high. There seem to be no long faces. The men are obviously looking forward to what they're heading into. Look at them. And its special strength power the swimming pool is now ready Look at them. seeking helicopters. Marines. Carrying men to and from the ships. And the whole world could go to war and we'd be as likely to go as walk on the moon. But this second helicopter landing has just fallen. Public duties. Still a long way from being They'll be back. They'll never finish it. A dozen women, the Tickets. Staff are also Twice around the islands and way back. And some rather non it's what will occur, so. Bloody Paris. Look at that one. Just bury over his eyes. Little Tom, that one. A maroon machine. Aye, well, it'll all be over when they get down there, sir. And very, very cold. <laughs> I know you don't like smoking, Hugh has told me, but would you mind? No, please. The first to be killed, one of them. I wasn't there, it was before. Got him straight between the eyes. Drill sound, you see. So well balanced on his feet that he didn't fall. Brace, they tell me. Nobody knew he'd been hit. That's and... crap. Well, that's what I was told. You fall, Hugh, I did. That's what I was told. When I have to go, I have to go awfully fast. That's another thing. Yes, of course. Let me show you. It wasn't until he lifted his left hand up onto the table that really thought about him being paralysed. Oh, yes, he is. The whole of his left side, basically. I saw he was dead when I saw him. Mr. McCassock, did someone check your dress? Yes, of course, sir. Mr. Lawrence. Next time, Mr. Lawrence, do it properly. You, McCassock. <laughs> One face forward. Well, as soon as I can, I will. Yes, of course, I'm still doing public duties. Yeah. It is leaving us. Really? Coffee, please. Yeah. Fourteen intelligence company want him. Oh, what do they do? Not allowed to know, Peter. Not allowed to know. Thank you. It'd be under the turf in Armar, I should think. Or under a dirty Macintosh. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Why would he want to? Oh, he wants to do everything. Jungle warfare. Right. He's done it all. He is, despite appearances, a real Thank action you. man, as Bobby. Do they want you? I wouldn't want you. I wouldn't want them. Far too dangerous. Am I going, going strong? Come on, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ain't no sense in looking down. Ain't no sense in looking down. Ain't no distance. 
discharge on the ground. Ain't no discharge on the ground. Am I right or am I wrong? Did Louise say anything? Haven't you spoken to her? Well, she knew we were going to call in on the way to Shropshire. Yes, but she did say she mightn't be here in time. She isn't? <laughs> I do find Robert fascinating. I find it all fascinating. You've not talked much about it, Hugh. Oh, I have, George. Do nothing else. Perhaps not. <laughs> Has anyone caught a packing snow around? Yeah, we should touch Get him under cover, come on! Wait on his stuff, Tim! Help me! Get up, boys! Get up, boys! Get up, boys! Get The bogus thing can do. The bogus thing can do. The bogus thing can do. Ain't no discharge on the ground. Ain't no discharge on the ground. Am I going right? Am I going going strong? You're going right. Not quite Brigade of Guards, sir. No. But it's all right. What's your platoon doing, Hugh? Boots, sir. I thought boots. The Major General is very hot on boots this year. I'm told by a grenadier. Of his acquaintance. You see, I hate cripples. Always have done. And I will not be one. That's what they don't seem to understand. I will not be a cripple. It isn't just my leg, my hand. Sometimes I don't always get there in time. 